Well, the man behind the Batman comics legend, Neil Adams, is in our area tonight. He's meeting fans, and Neil joins us live now from Powers Comics. Neil, thanks for joining us tonight. What brings you to town? Tom, it's a pleasure. Of course, I'm going to the uh, uh, Wizard Comic Book Convention a, a couple hundred miles away, but uh, we decided to stop off at Powers Records here in Green Bay to uh, sign comic books and to sign uh, prints and to sign books and to say hello to everybody and to tell stories that are just a little bit untrue. <laughs> <laughs> of, of course, Neil, one of the works you're best known for, the whole Batman thing. Tell us, how did you come up with a look for Batman? Well, the truth of the matter is that we were, you know, you had that television show, remember that great television show? We all loved the television show, but really it wasn't really Batman, was it? It was sort of a satire and a cartoon. So what was happening at DC Comics was they were following the show. And, of course, there are those of us uh, uh, sitting in the back room going, gee, you know, that is funny, but it's really not Batman. So I went into my editor, Julie Schwartz, and I said, Julie, Julie Schwartz is a guy. I said, Julie, I'd like to do Batman. He said, get the hell out of my office. I said, no, no, really, I really want to do Batman. He said, no, go away, go away, you can't do Batman. So I went down the hall to another editor. His name was Murray Boltonoff, and Murray would let me do anything because I had saved his Jerry Lewis and Bob Hope comic books uh, from being canceled. So he loved me, okay? So I said, look, you have a brave and bold comic book where you have Batman and Aquaman and Batman and Teen Titans and all these other characters. I'd like to do that book. He said, anything. Just go ahead and do it. He said, do you want to change it? I said, no, I don't want to change it. I just don't want Batman walking around in the daytime so people can see him in his long underwear. And I don't want him to walk through doors and say hello to people. I want him to come through windows and be mysterious again like he used to be. <laughs> well, Murray, Murray said, fine. Murray said, fine. Go ahead and do that. Well, after about four issues of that, my editor, Julie Schwartz, my lovely editor, Julie Schwartz, waited, uh, was in wait for me when I came into DC Comics, and he held a handful of letters and shook them at me and said, Neil, why is it people say that the only Batman at DC Comics is in Brave and the Bold? <laughs> I said, well, he said, why do you think you know what Batman should be and we don't know what Batman should be? I said, you know what, Julie? I think it's not just me, it's me and every kid in America knows what Batman should be. Well, Neil, it looks like your fans are in for a, for a great night tonight over there at uh, Power. You're signing autographs from 5 o'clock till 8 o'clock tonight. You just got to come out of your shell, Neil. That, that's your Yes, I know, you I know, too. I know. I know. <laughs> hey, thank you, my friend, so much for joining us tonight. You have yourself it's a good evening. It's my pleasure. It's my All pleasure. Right. Hello, everybody out there. Thank you, sir. All right, we are back with...